Hello YouTubers and welcome to this review of the brand new ViscoCam app for iPhone and iPad. ViscoCam has been around for some time now on the iPhone but last week brought a major update adding new journaling, sharing and syncing features as well as iPad compatibility. If you haven't used ViscoCam before it's essentially a camera and photo editing app so I'm not at risk of understating its capabilities however let me say this, this is an exceptionally good camera and photo editing app and here's why. Firstly, let's take a look at the camera. On the iPhone, you're able to control ISO, shutter speed, white balance, as well as focus manually. Far more advanced features than on the stock camera app. Of course, you don't have to use these features if you don't want to. The camera can automatically set all of these for you, allowing you to take a picture very quickly. On the iPad, only the white balance can be adjusted. This is likely down to the iPhone having far better camera optics than the iPad, and let's be honest, iPad photography isn't exactly taking off at the moment. Both the iPad and iPhone have excellent editing capabilities too. The app comes with a number of Instagram style filters and more can be purchased ranging from 69p up to 4 or £5 for a set. The filters look very nice and it's easy to almost have too many to choose from if you purchase a few of the packs. Much like Instagram you can adjust the filter strength to achieve the look that you want. Editing features also include the ability to adjust brightness, contrast, sharpness, temperature, fade and many more. Probably the most important feature of the new ViscoCam update is allowing you to sync your photos through the cloud, including any edits you have made. This means you can take a photo on your iPhone, make a few basic changes, sync with your iPad and resume editing on a bigger screen. Any changes you make on one device can be undone with the other, making it completely non-destructive. Once you've finished editing, you have a number of sharing options. You can save to your camera roll, upload to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, or you can email it. ViscoCam also has its own social network, and you can upload your photos to your own grid. The basic metadata is shared, and photos can be geotagged. Another cool feature of ViscoCam is the new journaling feature, allowing you to upload groups of photos and provide a running commentary. For example, if you're away on a trip where you'll be taking many different photos, you can use the journaling feature to group them together and write about where you've been. If you're installing the app for the first time, then it will take some time to get used to. The navigation is not the clearest in the world and some of the icons could be a bit more obvious, but once you get used to it, it's wonderful to use. So to summarise, ViscoCam is an absolutely amazing app that if you're into your mobile photography, you definitely need to check out. The editing features are really strong, got a really great range of filters you can apply and also the fact that you can really take control of the pictures as you're taking them by changing the different settings. Uh, it just makes it an all-in-one amazing photographic app. And there we have it, our review of the ViscoCam app. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check out some of our other review videos too.